when I look at sculptures that a lot of male figurative sculptures do, for example, or even women, I see a lot of really con conventional Jim Bunny kind of beauties with sharp jaws and cheekbones and, and very defined musculature and thin and, and um, you know, they just look like Hollywood actresses or fashion models. I was interested in sort of an older quality um, of an older quality of femininity. This kind of beauty is not that dependent upon raw bone structure. And it, ha it has a lot to do with how you decorate yourself. I've always been interested in how people who are not women, who are not necessarily that good looking, will just put on makeup and a nice dress and sort of like make sense out of it all and will look attractive. It's kind of interesting and, and I'm interested in how men respond to that kind of effort. I'm an artist, I don't, I just strip off the clothes and look at the form myself, but, <laughs> but I'm interested in how powerful self-decoration is. And it's, it's very old, it's tribal. She's pretty and soft. She looks like she'd be nice to touch. She doesn't look very utilitarian. She does not look like a classical Greek sculpture. She doesn't, does not have that geometrical austerity. Um, she's sort of soft, like an Ang woman. Well, when I say that she's sort of like an Ang woman, I picture that woman who's leaning against the fireplace. I forget what the title of that piece is. But she's got these very sloping shoulders so that you don't see, no bones are sticking out. And she's wearing makeup and just all those little sweet, that sort of sweetness of, of a girly girl but hopefully she's got a little bit of underlying life and challenge in her eyes. There's something in there that's gonna break out and kick ass. She's of an age, but there's a little spark in there.